Today, I will discuss Faraday's first law of electrolysis and Faraday's second law of electrolysis in this tutorial. Let's start with Faraday's first law of electrolysis. According to Faraday's first law of electrolysis the mass of a substance deposited at respective electrodes during electrolysis is directly proportional to the quantity of charge passed through it. If W is the mass of a substance in gram deposited when Q coulomb of charge is passed through its solution, then according to Faraday's first law of electrolysis, W is directly proportional to Q, or, W equals ZQ, where, Z equals electrochemical equivalent or a proportionality constant. W is equal to ZIT. Where, Q is equal to IT, here, I is current in ampere and T is time in second. This law show the quantitative relationship between the substance deposited at electrodes and the quantity of electric charge or electricity passed. We can see in figure that quantity of electric charge is directly related to the substance deposited at electrodes. Faraday's second law of electrolysis. According to Faraday's second law of electrolysis when same quantity of charge is passed across different voltmeters connected in series, the mass of substance deposited at respective electrodes is directly proportional to its chemical equivalent. That means, W is directly proportional to E, or, W is equal to A into E, or, W by E is equal to A, where, W is mass of a substance deposited. E is equivalent weight of that substance. A is proportionality constant. Let's suppose, same quantity of charge Q is passed through different voltmeters, containing copper sulfate, CuSO4, zinc sulfate, ZnSO4, and silver nitrate, AgNO3, solutions respectively and connected in series. According to Faraday's second law, mass of copper deposited by equivalent weight of copper is equal to mass of zinc deposited by equivalent weight of zinc is equal to mass of silver deposited by equivalent weight of silver. Applications of Faraday's law of electrolysis. This law is used in electroplating. This law is used in purification of metals. This law is used in manufacture of chemicals. This law is used in electrolytic capacitors. This law is used in printing industries. This law is used in production of gases for commercial purpose. This law is used in chemical analysis etc.